Hey, what's up everyone? This is the watch list video for Friday. Can you believe it? Friday already, May 13th. Friday the 13th. Um, that might not be a good sign. We'll see. Uh, the SPY gapped down today and closed green well off of its high, excuse me, well off of its highs, um, but still a solid close. You know, just glancing at this, it kind of feels like, okay, maybe we put in a short-term bottom today. Um, and as I said in chat, maybe we take out today's lows tomorrow. You never know, but um, I do have a lot of stocks that I have on long watch because they put in a nice reversal today, and I'm just looking for a follow-through day on that. A couple highlights from the session. UPST, I was actually on the mic this morning. And really beating up stock. Let me try to zoom in. And as it was curling up, this is the opening five-minute candle right here, which topped out at 28.10. As it started to curl back up, I said over the mic, this could be worth a shot through 28, knowing that the high of day is just a dime above, and it really took off from there. It did need some wiggle room, um, but it certainly didn't stop out if he took the trade, and it made, it made a really nice move. If you think about it, 28 all the way to a 33.50. Um, 15 minute can. So anyway, and, and a fairly strong close. So that was kind of a neat one. Um, Rivian was called in chat, and... I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I don't want to guess. Um, N-I-S-H-A-N-T-H. I don't even want to hazard a guess because I'm sure I'll miss. But anyway, a great idea of Rivian through 23. Uh, gapped up this morning, which was pretty rare with everything being weak, and topped out right at that whole number 23. Great idea there. Um, it went all the way to, what, over 26.50 at one point without really looking back, so that was a neat call. And then about six people in chat gave the idea of CPNG, which we had on our morning gap playlist, back through 11. And you see it opened and topped at 11. I don't know, like six people said, hey, if this breaks 11, you know, gave the idea, and it went to over 13. So there's a few highlights from the day. Um, if you weren't there in pre-market, that was my main focus, was we need to watch for gap down bounce play setups, right? The overall market's been beat up, and then it was gapping down, so... You know, we we're watching, um, I think, Disney, Apple, Tesla, all of them, um, BROS, and several of them gave good setups. I didn't catch them all, but uh, it was one of those days. Now, today's a little different, or I should say tomorrow. Going to tomorrow is a little different, um, and I'll show you some charts that I'm going to be watching. DIS, which is Disney, um, you've got that big volume day, right? And then you've got uh, a nice, strong close. So that's kind of got the footprint of a potential follow-through day tomorrow. Um, same with Beyond Meat, B-Y-N-D, um, which gapped down and then had a nice strong move. Actually halted a couple times. It was moving so quickly. I think there's a lot of shorts in this name. Um, halted here. I think halted again somewhere in here. Anyway, it was pretty darn strong today after earnings and that big gap down. And that's another one we were watching as a gap down bounce play. Um, so B-Y-N-D goes on watch. See that volume today? Tesla, same thing. Bounced off of support, right? And put in a nice green candle on big volume. Looking for a follow-through day there. CRWD, kind of the same thing. Um, you don't have that big volume, but uh, we've been looking for about... This one hasn't broken a previous day's high probably since right here, since it was you know over 200 bucks. Um, so still, it still has a chance for a nice follow-through bounce day for day traders like myself, right? Coin, another one. Really beaten up, gap down today. But a very strong close, very strong volume. Dish, another one really beaten up. Nice solid day today. Topped out right around 20 bucks. So that 20 number could um, come into play tomorrow. Uh, da -da -da, that's Dish. SQSP. I don't think I've ever heard of this one. Um, but nice volume today and a really strong move. We'll see if it gets a follow through setup tomorrow. ZEN, nice bottoming tail. I'm going to show you intraday um, because this was getting downside shape. And all of a sudden, I see it lighten up. I actually saw this, right, on my new low of day scan. And then next thing I know, it's lighting up the new high of day ticker. You don't see that very often. Um, and apparently, there was buyout talk. Um, so I do want to watch this because it's pretty beaten up anyway. Had a really nice intraday move, which shows me that it can do that. <clears throat> kind of tested recent lows this morning near here, um, near these lows, and had that nice reversal. So definitely goes on watch for tomorrow. FRGE. Um, lower is one we've been watching, but uh, even today's big move. Look at the range twenty dollars and eighty eight cents to twenty nine twenty nine. That's a huge range, and still only a million shares. That'll kind of give you a tip as to how thin this thing is. 
It's a scary stock to trade, so be careful if it gives a setup. BHC gap down and ran three days ago, and it's kind of slowly building, putting in kind of an ascending triangle there on that last, on the three days. So it does have potential upside there, in my opinion. Um, RBLX. Um, a lot of charts look like this, right? Beaten up and then, you know, it's, it's starting to bounce. I like the volume here and it's really beaten up. So I almost had to choose a couple of arbitrary names to, you know, put on long watch. I just chose this one. Airbnb is Airbnb. Um, nice bounce today, but closing well off of its highs. Uh, with the market bouncing though, you can put in a two days in a row, put in where it closed above its open. So maybe this thing's finding support. And it does make decent moves at times. So that one goes on watch. A couple more. FLNC. Um, I'm just watching this as a potential bounce play, right? Um, it's just getting that kind of downside shape change, big volume. That one goes on bounce watch. And then AFRM. Had earnings after hours. And as I'm talking, it's trading at about 24 bucks. So a nice gap up on a really beaten up stock. Certainly one to watch tomorrow. I'm going to quit babbling and let you guys... Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll see everybody in the chat room in the morning.